Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another nostalgic review with the domain. This is actually a fan favorite, one that people really do revere online, like this is the EVA's last stand and it's a really unique set because it's one of the only, if not the only set we've ever got that is just pure diorama. And I know we've got things like firebases before, but firebases are like, you know, a built up structure. This is like genuinely just a destroyed warthog. And isn't that kind of crazy? Like this was produced and uh, you know, delivered to store shelves and it's not even a complete warthog. Like that's such a crazy concept. It comes with an EVA and two hunters, yes two hunters. When do you ever get to say that? Hunters are so rare to actually come in pairs, which is funny because, you know, in the games they only come in pairs, but they've only, uh, you know, how many times have we got hunters in pairs? Maybe just this and now the new Scorpion Clash. It's really rare, guys. So to get two hunters just as they've, uh, you know, made the mold is just phenomenal. And this is EVA's last stand. This came out in 2011 and was the start of uh, something big, really. The start of Mega taking a lot of chances with their products. I think this was like a big turning point for them. This released at the same time as the Shade Turret, ODST Ambush, the Banshee, a little bit before that. So it was a really experimental phase. And just look how the EVA's last stand, like the set itself, blends into this grass from from like reach or something. It is really exceptional. The hunters look amazing on this packaging. And when you turn over, you can see the full scale battle of the uh, 2011 lineup, the Rocket Hog versus AA Gun, the Phantom Falcon Elephant. You can see that Mega Blocks in general blew up after this time period. Like this was huge, as well as the first ever Battlescape and a lot of new molds, that new ODST with drop pods. And you can see at the back of this manual, the EVA's Last Stand was sold at the same time as the Rocket Hog versus AA Gun. So you could switch it all piece, pop and swap and make yourself a Desert Warthog, which people really enjoyed doing. I saw countless of this Rocket Hog online or this Warthog online. And people still have them in their Warthog collection to date. I think people really enjoyed the idea of buying two sets and combining them to make this epic standoff. You could say, well, I don't want to buy two Rocket Hogs, but yeah, you would buy that Rocket Hog and then you just use the random leftover pieces of that Rocket Hog to make Rocket Hog last stand. You know what I mean? That looks so sick, that Hunter with the EVA Spartan. We had not got many new Spartan molds. Hayabusa was pretty much our second ever Spartan and EVA, I think, was probably our third, followed quickly by by things like Grenadier and Air Assault. EVA came out, oh, and also CQB, uh, I believe was at the same kind of time as this. But there weren't many Spartans, and we were building up the Halo 3 Spartan arsenal the most. This EVA looks fantastic. It's got that plain green that matches all of these Spartans that came before it, a full gold fishbowl visor, some nice silver detailing on its chest. The dark greens blend really nicely across its body. It's a, it's a great figure. I, I love this EVA, pure nostalgia, and good lord, they, the small EV, the EVAs look so small compared to the uh, Hunters. The first Hunter we got was purple with the Arctic Wolverine, and now we've got the blue. We also got a gold iteration of this uh, with the ODST set. But really, we didn't we didn't get that many hunters uh, in general before they were reproduced and remolded. They were quite rare, and you can see why this set was so coveted. Not only did you get a great display piece, you got two hunters as well. They have some really nice green highlights on their cannon. They got cool like Golo sort of markings across their neck, and six different spikes three different sizes of spikes running across their back. Lovely. They, they are fantastic, aren't they? They really are. The EVA's last stand is the shell of a warthog. Like I said, all the pieces you need to make a warthog with uh, the rocket hog, all of the shrapnel pieces can be added together to make the full build. You add this section here and the lights on top, and you can even add this right side of the warthog. Some great battle damage, you know, a cracked windshield and all these different burn marks. Really shows that this warthog has been taken through the rails. And when you take it off the base plate, you can see this fantastic single squarish base plate and a much larger, thicker one as well. This is a larger version of the base plate that came with the Brute Prowler. The warthog just sort of easily clips into place and you can decorate these little pieces anywhere you want. I like to have them uh, sort of pressed in so they don't just uh, go flying everywhere. The seat as well, you get a spare one of that and then some rocks and foliage. These two rocks can easily be put together to make one large one or separate. I always keep them separate just to keep the uh, scenery varied Grass pieces as well. You don't get much better than that, do you? Like I, I've not, I can't really recall any other set that comes with uh, that nice of a display piece, like that nice of a terrain piece. 
piece. I know the terrain is the only thing that's going for this, but it also has a upgraded, hugely upgraded chain gun. Like, look at this bad boy compared to our old warthogs. This is sick. It's got the original warthog pieces uh, and a new chain gun that now inserts with a rod means it sticks in there much nicer and we have a physical chain into a drum and it rotates on this joint here yeah. much more flexible and also nice to just like lay down like it's actually been destroyed as well as this new antenna also looking nice some good extra stickers as well all in all, man, what a set. I, I honestly say this is like one of my uh, top 10 sets. I know it is top 10 to a lot of people. It's nostalgia, sure, but it really does have a lot to offer. The first set with two hunters, especially blue hunters. I actually prefer these to the purple hunters. Then all these extra accessories for your warthog, a fantastic base plate that really you don't see in almost any other Halo Mega Bloks set, and a brand new EVA, particularly with those little bronze highlights on his helmet. Just make him a 10 out of 10, you know? Let me know in the comments down below, did you manage to get this set when it first came out or is this something you picked up over time or maybe you've never seen it before and now you've seen this review you really want it i uh, just love reviewing these old nostalgic sets and you can check out my playlist with all my other nostalgic reviews i've been having an absolute blast with this series as always guys you stay awesome you stay safe out there and thank you to my patrons you can donate for just three dollars or more a month and help the continuation of this channel and the hunters are signing off